So I, I have a little sister. She's 12. So she's a young Latina woman. Look at this. Girl. And this is the first president that she will really grow up like. This is like how, this is what her concept of a president will be framed as. Like a racist, xenophobe, misogynist just in the White House. That, that, and she knows this. She's 12. She knows better. She knows better. Being a woman, I think it's a real um, knock for women. I think in America, we talk, we like to tell other countries that they need women's empowerment and gender equality and all these things, but we look to our own selves and we see we don't have equal pay. Um, <laughs> we've never had, <laughs> obviously, a female president, um, head of state. So what are we saying to other people and other nations when we don't even really get it right here? I didn't even think that he was going to win his like uh, primary. And um, just the fact that like he's winning over an experienced politician is mind-blowing. And I don't know what's going on and how this is happening, but it is. This is so unreal. Like, I just can't think of, think of it at all. Like, I just can't think of a, waking up to a Trump president. You know? it's just, because he's publicly been such a misogynist, a bigot, a racist, a narcissist person. If I had girls, I'd want them to feel limitless, and I'd want them to feel like they could do anything, regardless of their gender. Um, and I hate to say this, but at this point, I don't know that I could tell them that. Um, I would, I guess, I would tell them to keep fighting, and to just, uh, we'll get there one day, and we have to keep pushing. I, I hope, I hope so much that in, f in four years I don't get to say I told you so, because that will be terrible. So if he does pull it off, good luck. I mean, I'm hoping that I'm still living here and not in Canada. <laughs>